Hello, I'm Simon Hope and I'm going to show you how to set up uh, and use the Hope Easy Arm Hollowing Jig. These are the component parts of the standard Easy Arm Jig, um, all apart from this, this part here, um, which is part of the laser, and we'll talk about that uh, a little bit later on. So the first thing we need to do is to uh, fix the main stem onto the kicker plate, um, just simply with that bolt. Um, so we'll just quickly do that, just thread that on like so. Um, the only thing the kit doesn't come with um, is an adjustable spanner. So uh, you would need an adjustable spanner um, in order just to tighten up these bolts. So this is the first one on there like so. And we'll just tighten that down. So the next job um, with this part, which is obviously in the kit, um, is to fix that through uh, and position your kicker plate. Now this kicker plate um, is now a standard uh, and the reason I've got that is, the, is that you can position the stem um, anywhere um, you know at 90 degrees or off at an angle in order to get all angles whereas the standard one with it just in the centre um, it was a bit restricted. So let's just move that out of the way. So we're going to fix that roughly about there and I, I you know, prefer it to be sort of out to the side, I find that easier to use. thread that through and we'll just screw that. So with that fully tightened the next job is to put the arm actually on the main stem and then position the correct height. So I'll just put that on like so. Now that's too high uh, at the moment it's uh, set up for another lathe. Um, so to set it up um, what we need to do is get our centre height. For this lathe it's 230 um, and then with this positioning ring here um, we adjust the height, uh, obviously up and down, so that the middle um, of this bar um, is actually on your centre height. So I'll just measure that and adjust it. The easiest way is just to bring that round, um, and that just needs to drop down. So we can just drop that down a tad, that will slide down, and that's it perfect. So that's now set, um, ready to start cutting. Now that that's set for this lathe, um, it's set for this lathe, so I don't have to keep readjusting that. Um, that's ready to go, and each time uh, the arm will just pop on, and um, you know you can go straight away. Um, we're going to use the um, the six mil carbide tool. This is the more heavy duty one. Um, it comes as a bit of a deal uh, if you buy the full kit, or you can buy that separately. Um, but this jig isn't designed just to use my tools. Um, it's designed for 19 mil, um, which is pretty standard for other mates. Um, and it comes with a little collet also which reduces it down to 16mm uh, or 5.8 um, so you can use um, other tools uh, you know, for, for the actual hollowing process. So I'll just set this in and tighten that up. That's the little 6mm carbide tool. Um, when I'm positioning this I find that it's better just to tilt that down slightly, maybe about 5 or 10 degrees. So we'll just set that up and then we'll start cutting. So just quickly before we start, I just want to say about the kicker plate, um, the other advantage to, to that is that if you've got a short bed lathe or a smaller lathe, um, it allows the stem to be pushed to the side um, and the arm wraps around itself so you can see we could actually start cutting at this point. Um, on larger lathes it just gives you more versatility. So with the rest set um, so that the cutter is at centre height, um, we'll start doing some cutting now and hopefully that will just illustrate how the easy arm will take all the stress out of hollowing. So here we go. I'll just get the glasses on. Now before we go any deeper, um, I just want to say that um, it is easier if you can just take out that centre core. So I've just used a drill bit there to take it out. Um, the rig will cut on centre but it's just much quicker and easier if you can drill out that part first.
Now it always surprises me how quick that little 6mm cutter um, will actually take material away. What I'm going to do is just do uh, a bit of an undercut here so we can show you the hook tool and how we might clean up if we're doing uh, a closed hollow form. Right, so we'll go ahead and use the 19mm uh, Hope hook tool now, um, but before we actually start cutting, I just want to show you how I'm going to sharpen uh, the scraper. So, head. what I'm going to do um, is just use the Allen key, um, just loosen that off slightly so that the head will spin. Make sure you keep the Allen key actually in the head and then just offer that angle up against your grinder. You'll see it spin, look for the colour change to go right the way to the end and then you've sharpened it all the way around nice and even. So I've just put the, the 90mm hook tool uh, into the rig. Now one little tip that I find um, is quite useful uh, is just to have the cutter tip slightly down to the left uh, anti-clockwise uh, about five degrees. I just find that slightly less aggressive. On smaller hold vessels you do have to be careful when you feed the cutter in. Um, I've opened this up just so you can see actually how the cutter's going to work. So you'd carefully feed yourself in And this operation with the, the scraper head will just tidy all of the bumps up and give a really nice clean finish. Now before we set up and show you the laser and the camera system, um, I just want to point out um, that with this pair of tools, um, that head will fit onto the hook tool, that scraper head will fit onto this, um, and that just covers all ranges for scraping and cutting um, when doing hollow form So I've work. set the, the laser system up. Um, the main stem was already in the hollowing rig. Um, we've got the boom arm, um, the head which is screwed on. We've got a couple of uh, ties here to make sure that the cable is all out of the way and it's all plugged in. Now, uh, when you're setting it up, you've just got to make sure that this is um, parallel. So what I do is just eye down and just make sure that it's parallel with this point here. It's quite easy to do. Um, but if this was at an angle, it would give you a false reading when we're setting it up uh, down here. And we're going to show you how to so do that So the idea there. is, um, we've got a bit of paper here, I've got two lines and uh, I've drawn those 10mm apart, which will be our wall thickness. Um, you set the, the head of the scraper um, to the edge of the first line and then the laser dot you set so it's on the second line. And basically what happens is once that head is in there, you can clearly see the laser dot on your hollow form. And as you're cutting, um, as soon as that laser dot falls off the end of the hollow form, you're left with the correct wall thickness. So we're going to start cutting. I can see the laser dot on the end. And basically I'm going to keep cutting until that laser dot falls off the end and that gives me the correct wall thickness. So we're getting close, it's just about to fall off the end. And hopefully you can see um, how I've demonstrated um, we've now got the right wall thickness on just this section here. Um, now I'm going to show you the, the camera system. Um, I've got it all set up. Um, the screen, um, the little TFT screen, 
um, I normally just screw onto the wall or uh, with a magnet on top of your headstock. Um, but if you put it on the wall, just make sure um, it's not in line with what you're turning uh, in case you do have that odd accident and it hits the screen. So just make sure that's out of the way. Um, also, just with the, the junction box, um, I've just uh, put it on the, the bed of the lathe there, uh, but normally that would be screwed somewhere down on the back of the wall somewhere, somewhere where the wires uh, are, are safely out of the way. So with the camera set up, just make sure uh, that the camera um, again is parallel. So again, I just look down and just eye it through to that part there, um, because if it's tilted and at an angle, uh, it can give you a false reading. Um, I've also set it up so that the, the image on the screen, the cutter, is roughly in the centre of the screen. And now we're ready for the next stage. So how it works is you use the Sharpie pen which is provided and you draw uh, on top of the screen over um, the image of the actual cutter. Now the screen does have uh, a screen protector on there so that you don't damage the screen. And then, once the tip goes into the hollow form, you can see exactly the image in relation to where the actual cutter is on the inside of the hollow form, exactly um, where it is at all times uh, on the screen. Okay, so we're going to show you now um, and actually do some cutting. So um, there's the cutter inside. Again, you can see the actual drawing of the or the image uh, on the screen. We're firing it up, and when we're actually cutting, you can see exactly where that cutter tip is uh, inside the hollow form. Now we're just going to come to the area that I've already taken down to the correct wall thickness, which is there. It's just starting to cut, so you can see the distance we need to keep away from the edge but I'm just going to show you a little trick to help set up for wall thickness right so the best way um, to set your wall thickness indicator up on the screen is to start off by just doing the top proportion and get that to the wall thickness that you want because you can measure that um, using calipers or you can gauge it with your fingers but you can see and um, have the ability to measure that top bit so once that's done, we can actually get the cutter in and resting against the inside of the wood there. So we'll leave that touching the inside. And then what I'm going to do is just put a couple of little dots where that is touching the edge uh, of the hollow form on the screen and just take that round a bit like so. So now when we're turning, yeah, we've got that secondary line which is on the screen. We basically just keep turning until that secondary line hits the edge of the hollow form and then we're at the correct wall thickness. I'll just do a little bit down in this area, down in here, just to demonstrate. So now you can see all of that area that I've just worked on is at the right wall thickness. Um, I do it quite thick to begin with using the actual carbide cutter and then I'd use a more precise setting um, for using the scraper head to get it down to your final wall thickness. Now I've set up the, um, the scraper head uh, on the hook tool and I just want to show you why it's a, a, a much improved system over the laser uh, point. Now you can see where I've drawn that on the screen. Yep, so I've just put my hand there, you can see how that's covered. Um, and the advantage over this one is that once that's in, you can actually see the whole shape of the head. Um, if you was using the laser point, you'd have to set the laser point for the top in order to do the top half of the hollow form. And then you'd have to set the laser point to the bottom in order to do the bottom of the hollow form. Uh, but with the camera system, you can see exactly all of the shape of the cutter all of the time, and it just makes it quicker and easier.
Go. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope uh, you enjoyed this little DVD on the Hope Easy on Halloween jig. Um, if there's any more information, please feel free to contact me uh, on the email address that's about to follow. Thank you.